Hey, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper and today I'm going to show you how to do the routing to the Trackspacer plugin. This is the plugin of 2017 that I just made a video about that people seem to really love and I need to clarify a couple of things before I show you the routing. One, I said I was going to show you the routing in the initial video showcasing what the, the plugin could do and I forgot so I'm going to do that now. Also, it doesn't use sidechain compression. It uses a sidechain reverse EQ curve so it's a little bit smoother than compression and also it came out three years ago and I realized that's an error but I wanted to clarify I don't really care it's a great plugin you should get it no matter what year it's from and it's my favorite plugin of 2017 for the price and what it does and you know how it, how it works with the best quote unquote especially with VSTs and VSTIs when they're so different apples to oranges you know what I mean real quick if you didn't see the other video Trackspacer really easily and silky smoothly cleans up frequency conflicts inside of your mix. So if you check it out, right now I have the Trackspacer on this music clip right here. And there's a reverse EQ curve being applied to it, taken from the vocal, and the vocal is on a ghost side chaining system, and I'm gonna show you how to route that in one second. But I'm gonna go ahead and turn track space around and off so you can hear what it's doing and how kind of transparent it is. So you can almost barely hear its effect, although it is noticeable. But once I play it with the vocal, you'll notice how clearer the vocal sounds when it's combined with the music and track space are being applied. Yeah, they call me trap love, all up in the back dog. You know that man that's uh, way up in the club, you know it, turns up in the club, yeah. Way up in the club, you know it, turns up in the club, yeah. On that dance floor, yeah, they call me trap love, all up in the back dog. You know that man that's uh, way up in the club, you know it, turns up in the club, yeah. Way up in the club, you know it, turns up in the club, yeah. So it really cleans up the space for those vocals. I noticed a big conflict between that music clip and the vocals, and I just threw track spacer on it and applied a little bit of the side chain reverse EQ curve that I was talking about before. And I'm only at, I think, a 40% ratio here. I could push it more if I wanted to, but I really like that music and I wanted a parent in the mix, so I only put it around 40%. Anyway, this isn't a tutorial about that. This is a tutorial on how to set up the routing. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and delete this ghost chain. And what I have is the, let me see here. What I have here is the music that I want to attenuate or apply the reverse EQ curve to, and I wanna take that from the vocal. So I need to do two things. One, I need to drop track spacer onto the music channel, which I've already done. Boom, so track spacer is on the music channel. And then I need to duplicate whatever I want the source to be. So track spacer, I want to analyze the vocal, so I need to duplicate the vocal. Now I can take this and rename it Ghost, so I know that there's not gonna be any audio necessarily coming out of here. The audio is gonna get pumped right into track spacer. And the way to do that is right here in the output section. You just go right to, mine's on channel eight. Let's just go ahead and rename it so we don't get too confused. Rename it Music. And this will be better now. You can see down here, I'm just gonna choose the music. And then from the second drop down, I can choose either one of these, they're the same thing. I'm just gonna go ahead and choose that top one. And now if I solo this, all we'll hear is the music. But if we open up track spacer, we'll notice that the input is coming from that vocal. So here where the vocal wasn't happening, you saw that no reverse EQ curve was being applied. That's how you do the routing. And I like to title it ghost. And I always move my ghost side chaining to the top and just kind of, you know, you can make it a nice gray color so you forget about it. And I saw a comment on Facebook about, oh my, you gotta have three tracks and it's just over. No, dude, if you're gonna have ghost side chaining to begin with, you're gonna have three tracks, right? So it's not like you're doing a whole bunch of extra work and the results are undisputable man it's just a perfect little plug-in that does exactly what it needs to do and it does it well and it does it without a lot of hassle I don't need to go in and tweak too much maybe the attack and release time but other than that the 32 bands are doing all the work for me 
and it's just incredible. So that's how you route it. A little bit of a clear up video from my first one there. If you've gotten it, good. If you haven't, you should. Links are in the description below. I hope you learned something. We'll see you next time. Peace.